Today I am uh, at the Chihaui State Park. Ron Duran and I are going to walk down to Benton Falls and take a look around and see what's down there. And uh, I don't think I'm going to bother videoing a lot of stuff along the way unless we're actually talking about something. So we will see you at the falls. All right, we're almost to the top of the trail here at Benton Falls and we're not hearing a whole lot of water. Which could be, you know, a good thing, because if it's too much water, that's not a good thing. And fortunately, for the moment at least, the sun is still trying to hide. It peaks out every once in a while, but for the most part, it's a nice overcast day. That's always a good thing. And I am way over here, out of the center of my frame. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. Ron and I have just been chatting about everything under the sun. Social Security, retirement, travel vans, camera gear, living on the road. <laughs> um, which has made the time go by really, really fast. So that's been good. And I, I can hear it a little more here. I, I think it's going to be just, it looks I think, like, I think, I think it's, it's like good. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I think it's going to be just yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. I think it's going to be just right. All right, we have made it to the top of the trail. The waterfall actually sounds pretty good, but they have, thankfully for us, waited until just now to shut the trail down. So we did at least make it this far. And now, I'm not gonna try to film this walking down here because I did that one time and almost fell down and broke my neck. So trust me, we're going down this hill. Well, we're almost there. Let me turn the camera around so you can see what we're looking at. The water flow actually looks pretty good today. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, now I want you to notice, I'm going to zoom in here on Ron. I want you to notice he's carrying a sling bag with very little minimal gear, which is how I normally pack. And I have a 20 pound camera bag. <laughs> what a mistake. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me over the waterfalls or not. I opted not to put a microphone on just to see kind of what it sounded like. Um, I am standing quite a ways away from my backpack where my filters are, so I'm going to go back and get them here in a minute. But right now, this first shot I'm going to put up here on the screen is shot at F-22, and it is at ISO 100. And it came out to be about a fourth of a second, which is about right. I just wish it wasn't at F-22, but we'll see how that turns out. Um, I am also, we'll turn this around. I am also videoing something for the Life in Motion channel, sort of a behind the scenes of the shoot today. And that's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> So let's, uh, let's get another shot here from another spot. All right, so I've moved my camera over just a little bit. Let me turn it around here. I moved my camera over here so that I could get this tree in the foreground along with that tree before I get to the falls. And so my setup looks kind of like this. And I am doing a focus bracket. So I'm focusing on this front tree near the camera then I'm focusing on the back tree, and then I've picked out a spot along the rock wall to get a third focus point. And I'll blend those into Photoshop, and if they turn out, I'll put it up on the screen now. Well, I decided to get just a little bit. Let me turn the camera around here and show you what I'm looking at. I've already put my camera away, but I was sitting down here at the end of this little log, shooting up at this little tiny waterfall right here with this little trickle of water that comes down this way. And I did that with um, four focus points so I can focus stack that. They were all at about 1 20th of a second or so, just enough to let that water look really smooth and, and silky. And I'll put that picture up here now. Here we go. I got both. 
So it, it doesn't show no. that those connect. They it'll, no, it'll show here. Only the internal one, the one that. Yeah. These are green and not blue. Okay, I got it. Check, check, one, two. Okay. All right, hang on. There we go. Well, all right, we're here with uh, Ron. We just finished up down at Ben Falls, and we're both mic'd up so we can yep. be totally out of breath on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> we just come out of there. It just proves one thing. We need to, we need to hike more often. Well, that's the truth. Okay. I mean, I put on about 10 or 15 pounds this winter, and I don't know how. I guess it's that ice cream I was talking about <laughs> earlier. <laughs> um, I can chew through a half a gallon of ice cream by myself. So can my wife, but... Oh, what are you going to do when you're old? You know? Yeah, you know. Sit around and make fun of each the other. The nice thing about ice cream is, even if you lose your teeth, <laughs> you can still enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes. All right. You were going to tell me something down at the bottom. You remember what it was? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so I bought, I brought. Let's uh, stop where we can talk and not have to breathe hard. I brought, I brought my, here comes a bicycle. Uh. Who? The uh, the trail's going to close on you down here. The trail's going to close on you down here. So I was down there photographing, and I was talking about the lenses that I brought, and I brought the 14 to 30 for this camera and the the Z6 II and the 24 to 120. I really didn't need to bring the 120, except when we were hiking down here, I thought we might see something. Well, right. I did. I seen I seen some uh, dwarf crested irises. There, I got it right. Okay, <laughs> dwarf crested irises. But I see them all the time. Uh, I used to be, be real big at um, taking wildflower pictures. Yeah. And a couple of years ago, I got into it. But you know, I got several of those photographs on my computer, and I don't do a whole lot with them. I post them online every once in a while. I don't even think I've ever printed one because if somebody's seen one. They wouldn't really know what the name of the flower was. And sometimes I don't know what the name of the flower is. Um, I've got a little pamphlet and a little book. And I also got an app on my phone called Picture This. Right. And that app, will, uh, you can take a picture of a leaf or a tree trunk, and it'll tell you what kind of tree it is. Right. Okay. Prescribed burn area. But I got to laughing back there. <laughs> I couldn't stop because I couldn't get dwarf crested iris out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that was what was funny. I brought the 15 to 35 and the 70 to 200, but I left the 70 to 200 in the car. I'm glad I did. Um, I probably would have taken more pictures. I think I only got three or four uh, compositions. I would have taken more, but I was in a tizzy trying to get the uh, behind the scenes shots on my phone yep. from my other channel. Your videos, yeah. And I was trying to stay out of your way. I did my very first composition, though. I had a nice picture of you. <laughs> uh, you well, were, you had your tripod set up on that fallen tree next to the falls. Oh, cool. I and, get, uh, that's a good shot. It shows perspective. Yeah, yeah. It shows how big the fall I had you in there on purpose. It wasn't just because you were in my way. Well, I wish, <laughs> I wish, you had, I wish you would have told me that. I would have sucked my gut in. <laughs> Kind of, kind of do some Photoshop. Uh, uh, we'll see if I can kind Photoshop of that, make, morph that out. Make yeah. me a little bit better looking than I actually am. You know. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll I mean, I pose my face on. I mean, actually, <laughs> I'm si Tim. I'm gonna be 67 years old, but back in my younger days, yeah, I was known as a catch. <laughs> <laughs> That's my wife. I don't think I was ever known as that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <a> catch. <laughs> uh, I was hiking one time out here with, first time I was hiking with Brian Solomon. And uh, Brian and me and Ricky Smith were out hiking together. And that came out. Brian said, made some kind of remark to me. I said, hey, back in my younger days, man, I was known as a catch. <laughs> he said, a what? <laughs> a catch, I said. All right, so you said you've been to Benton Falls twice before. Yeah, I think. Was this the first time you've actually taken pictures here? Well, the last July I did, but they didn't turn out very well. Uh, it was sunny. There was a lot of people down there. Yeah, yeah. It was hard to get this position. Uh, Lynn Alexander was with me, and she actually posted some of her pictures. I, I didn't even bother 
getting into editing them or anything because they were so bad. The highlights were blowed out. And gotcha. Couldn't really get anything that I like. But this is my second trip here to take photographs. And I believe I probably got what I need now. Uh, the only thing I wish, uh, and you probably showed that in some of your pictures, is that big old hemlock tree they cut down. Yeah. Wasn't sitting right there in front of the plunge pool. Now, someday, about 15 years from now, <laughs> it'll be gone. <laughs> but, you know, if a man would go down there when they cut it down and cut it with a chainsaw in smaller pieces, then the next huge um, flood that come through here would wash it all out. Yeah. But, you know, we, we typically find this a lot at waterfalls when there's deadfalls. And sometimes some of us uh, try to clean that up a little bit uh, for us and for the people who follow us that want to take a picture. Yeah. You know, uh, sometimes you can't really advertise you're doing that. But you know, it might be kind of noticeable if you walk down here with a chainsaw. Well, I have done it. Okay, and I'll be I'll be the first to admit it. I have been into remote locations from some of these waterfalls. I don't do it in a national park, but on some of these areas where it's not really a designated state park or any of that, right. I will I will take a chainsaw in there and clean it up. Um, I can't really name any that I've done that to you <laughs> uh, because I might get incriminated. Yeah, it's probably good. Yeah, so. And I can always edit that part out of my video. Oh, I don't want you to. <laughs> I think you got to leave it all in. Anyways, it's been a great day with Tim here. I'm glad I came down to Cleveland. Uh, it's about a 90-mile drive for me to spend the morning. And what time is it? I don't even know. It's 11.30 or 12.30 your time. So, yeah, it was great photography this morning uh, down here. So I had fun. I haven't been down here. It's been over a year since I come to Chattanooga. I was down here when uh, Phil Thatch took us to the aquarium yeah. last January. Yeah, That's the last time I was here. Well, I've been through here, but not stopped. So um, I don't get out of Crossville very much, but I will after December. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I know there are more photogenic waterfalls than Benton. For me... It holds a, a bit of a nostalgia to it because when I came to Lee in 1976 as a wet behind the ears freshman, we came up here a lot, mm. um, swam in the lake and walked down to the falls. I have a friend of mine in the summer after my freshman year, uh, his name was Paul who was down here at the falls trying to climb it. Oof. And he fell. Oof. Broke almost every bone in his body. Oh, man. This was no cell phones. Mm. No uh, no nothing. They had to get EMT up here, get him out, get him to the hospital. He was in the hospital for months. He survived it, but, man, he was lucky. Mm. And I've been swimming up here in... Uh, March, when the weather was, you know, 55, 60 degrees, not a bad day, but the water was still like 40. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we all jumped in. I stayed in until I couldn't feel my legs anymore. And then I thought maybe it was time to get out. Hmm. But those are, those are fond memories for me of coming up here then. So I come up to Benton Falls. Not necessarily to get a lot of pictures, but just because I like the falls and I like this area. Uh, it's a real popular waterfall for the families and stuff during the summertime. It, it's very popular because it's so easy to get to. Yeah, it's not hard at all. But right now, uh, this camera is about to burn my bicep from holding out here away from me so long. So I'm turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you next time. <laughs>